I am here with this gentleman here, Stephen Black Njati, and we want to talk about our coaching journey together. And I think we'll just let the whole thing roll. Yeah. So, okay. and we can just have a, a conversation, right? So, um, we have come to the end of a three month process, and what I'd like to hear. Uh, uh, what I'd like to hear from Stephen is who Stephen is, who you are. Okay. And let's start with how we met. How did we meet? Uh, oh, I was running. <laughs> who, who are you, first of all? Oh, okay. so, it's fine. so, as you said, my name is Stephen Blackjati. Uh, I'm a record breaking trail runner with a passion for African Ford. And. You're from Kenya? Yeah, definitely. Love my country. <laughs> from Kenya, Nairobi. I've been living here of South Africa, Cape Town for six years now. Yeah. Uh, and I've found a passion in running. I found a passion in running through the forest, through the mountains. And that's where I found peace. And through that, I found Simon while I was running through Newlands Forest. He chased after me, actually. <laughs> and. He approached me after we finished it off uh, by the gates and it started from there, you know. Uh, he started coaching me and we started our missions, you know. Starting from that day, the mission started from mission one to now. Wow. It's Perfect. been three months, you know. Wow. <laughs> Good. Well, we'll get, let's talk a bit more about that. And and my, my experience of meeting Stephen was I was going f f for a... Uh, a run in the forest, um, a run, you know, not 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 like a, yeah, a trundle uh, is the word. I don't think that word. Trundle. You tried your best. Eh? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I was just coming to the end. I had about half a kilometre to go, and I heard this doof, 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 doof behind me, and I turned around, and Stephen went past me, and I had this idea: just keep up, or do my best to keep up. And then the moment I made that 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 I had that thought, I was like, oh. I noticed there was two thoughts. One was, you know, don't be an idiot. He's clearly so much younger, so much fitter than you. You'll only embarrass yourself. Or the other thought I had, and which was the one that I followed, which was well, just do your best and use him as a marker. And I remembered uh, something about uh, a book called Running with the Kenyans. Anyway, so so I I chased after uh, Stephen. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't keep up, but I I kept him in front of me got to the end and I really enjoyed the process and I introduced myself and I told Stephen I said oh, you know thanks and I I've heard about this book called Running with the Kenyans and this guy basically packs up his life in England and he goes to live in the highlands of Kenya uh, yeah. to, to learn about running with the, the, the Kenyans these, these amazing uh, talented runners and he realized early on that he was holding himself back and one day he just experimented with just, I'm gonna keep up with them from the start. And he was amazed at how much he discovered, how much strength and endurance and stamina he had. So I told the story to Stephen and I said, oh, this book called Running with the Kenyans. And he went, oh, I'm Kenyan. I'm Kenyan. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's, that's kind of where we started. And we, we had some, I think we had a couple of informal sessions, didn't we? Yeah. And then I said, okay, let's, let's do it properly. And we, we contracted with each other to do six sessions. Uh, tell the viewers, if you will, like, um, what did you want to accomplish for, at the start? Uh, so in the beginning, when you, when you met me, I was running just for a hobby, just, for the, just because I could do it. But when we started our missions, uh, I learned that I was holding back. You know, I was holding back on my running. I could do more. And through that, uh, through the omissions, I started running more. And with that, I joined in in a few races, which I did my first race after our second mission, isn't it? Yeah, second I did my session, yeah. yeah. Mm. After our second session, I did my first race in the Cape Winelands. And my first race, I came in 19. Out of, out of 175 people and it was a 46 kilometer trail run you know and it was my first run against some 
awesome people, some really fit people. And with that, I learned that there was so much in me that I didn't realize in, you know. And that made me dive in like full head body in your sessions. And with that, wow, look at where we are right now, you know. Right now, um, I'm faster than I used to be. Um, like the challenges I've done so far, like the cable car, the cableway challenge, which it was at Platinum Clip Gorge, it was a VAT for 2000, and we, I did it eight summits, eight summits in one 10 hours with an injury, with an injury. Wow, with a bike injury, like my ankle was all messed up, but I did it, you know. The adrenaline kicked in and I was wow. wow even reciting this just makes me say just wow you know <laughs> yeah amazing yeah, <laughs> good and then you had uh, so you had the goal the, the running goal was to go do the the, the the gorge challenge yeah yeah and then you had another goal there were two other goals which was the financial goal the and the Kenyan yeah, goal and the Kenyan yeah so tell tell the listeners about that uh, so the financial goal was I was trying to get financial stability like uh, we all know how COVID hit us we were all unaware and kind of things in my world kind of fell apart and I didn't know where I stood but with Simon's help uh, I was able to find that there's no limits you know in what we can do and I was able to get stable of my life I was able to get more courageous in any decision that I was making. You know, I found out that there was much more in me, like in terms of, how can I say this? Wow. <laughs> it's fine. Take your time. No okay. Uh, I found out that I was holding back in in my way of financial goals like I didn't know what to do but uh, with the steps of Simon's uh, I was able to get hold of that I was able to get a new job I was able to find new guidance I was able to plan out a list of goals to accomplish in which so far I've accomplished a couple of them and in every goal I accomplished, I put another one in front of me to make me grow. And I did, you know. Uh, like right now, I'm planning on doing the 13 peaks challenge in under 24 hours. 13 peaks yeah, in 13. under 24 hours. Yeah. So that's about 107 kilometers and about 6,000 watt. And I want to do it in 24 hours. And with that, I found people to guide me through it. And note of this, before Simon, that, that was a dream. But right now, it's in action, you know. Amazing. It's something that's happening. It's something that I have a team planning on it. We have a group on it. But I could have never done it without Simon's help. You know, when you chased me down that day, you, you, you gave me an opportunity to grow. What, what was your, what was your? I haven't asked you this. What was your experience in that moment of me knowing did, like someone was behind you, or so, <laughs> did you have a, did you have a thought? Did you think it was like it's a bit weird? Yeah, or? I did think it was weird, but actually that made me push myself more. Interesting. Because I that day I was doing about it was twenty three kilometers because I had gone all the way to Christenbush and I was on my way back so you know how you on your last finish you always go like ah, I'm almost done so you take it easy but once I had this guy and I saw him coming right in right to me I pushed it you know and I was right over there <laughs> then when he came to approach me and we started talking and <laughs> he told me about the running with the Kenyans and how weird was it I was Kenyan uh, you know who could have thought that <laughs> that's so funny that's so funny yeah, and you, when you said weird, you know, I think those two words, particularly weird and crazy. Yeah, you know, you know who chased down 
a random person yeah. on the forest, you know. Yeah. We there's so many people running. He chose me, yeah. you know. It's yeah. <laughs> funny, isn't it? Or you you chose me. I mean, you just you ran past and and you know maybe and it's some maybe it's a I think it's a spiritual thing, you know, in many ways. But what's what's really interesting, Stephen, is that um, you know those words weird and crazy, you know, where they're great words you know the, the one of the dictionary definitions of the word crazy is to be extremely inspired yeah so the the crazy thing is that we we talk about people ah oh, he was really crazy or she was really weird but actually they're a compliment i think because if we're not being crazy a little bit crazy and we're not being weird then we're just doing the same as everyone else right exactly yeah you're, you're being normal mm. and the world we are living right now normally is underrated, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. you just have to be crazy to go over the edge. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so my my take on Stephen's goals are a couple of things. Uh, one is, uh, and I just want to say, and I want to honour you uh, for you know you've showed up on time, you know. I know nothing really of your life. You know, you listeners will know absolutely nothing about Stephen's life. But you know, you came overland from Kenya. You got a child still in Kenya. You're providing for them. I think you probably came here on some level to, you know, for a for a better life. For, yeah, true. You know, and to be able to earn more money and send money home and so on and so forth. You were robbed in Zambia. You like, I mean, there's a yeah, whole. Yeah, it was one hell of a journey. It was yeah. a month journey in which basically it normally takes a week. Mm. 